Hey, Kathy. Hi, friend. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. So it is our GOB Rex July book club episode. I, I cannot I can't even believe, believe it. it. I mean, we're, we're recording... halfway through the summer. I know. We're recording a little bit early, but not that much earlier than it's going to come out. And that just feels so crazy. Um, so I know. how I know. are you really? I, well, I can't wait to hear about your book. How are you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm a nasty woman. That's all mm-hmm. I can say. And you're uh, you're dissenting, aren't I'm you? I'm dissenting. Yeah. Anyway, we digress. We digress. Let's talk fiction. You know what? We'll talk crime fiction, not Listen, real I, crime. You know, I talked to um, <laughs> last week um, after some very disappointing news came out. I talked to. Um, uh, who I now consider a friend, uh, Lisa Cron, who is a wonderful book coach. And she pointed out that writing fiction is like the one great thing to do right now because you can actually control what is happening in the universe that you're creating with the characters you're creating. And you can take out a lot of frustration. And she's like, there's a lot of power on the yeah. page right now. And I thought that was so great. That is, that's a good point. And I have talked to, you know, some writer friends who would be like, yeah, I just killed one of my coworkers today. (laughs) I had no choice. He said the bad thing. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh, funny. So let's talk books. But I do like our books. I, I mean, at least my book, um, that I read this month, I think it was, it was just a really good diversion. Oh, I, I can that. say that. Yeah. Yes. And I can't wait to hear about your book. Oh, you, I'm you excited. Go first. I'm going first? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, I chose Harlan Coben's latest called The Match. And at, I love Harlan. As Coben. you know, I love Harlan Coben too. And I, he's one of my. <sighs> My, my list is growing, but he's one of the authors that I <laughs> I automatically pre-order every book that they have come out, right? Like, no question. And um, I had saved it because this kid come out, I mean, just a few weeks ago, but I saved it for my vacation. I read a lot of books on vacation, which was really great. And um, mm-hmm. it was, man, it just did not disappoint. He is such a stellar story writer. And so the match mm-hmm. is, um, it is a, a recurring character, um, and he has a lot of those. And the recurring character is called Wild, W I L D E, and he has that kind of nickname because he was um, he did he doesn't know what happened to him, how he ended up as a young boy at like age six, but he was left basically in the woods and survived. Until oh, wow. he was a teenager being, um, you know, brought in by a family, but he survived by breaking into, um, like summer homes and taking the food they had and would survive there and get clothes and shelter. And so he's been a reoccurring character for a lot of books. And this book is about how he came to be this little boy ho- homeless in the woods. And so it wow. is, and one of the things I love that Harlan Coben does is he always takes like two big topics and inter, interposes them together, I guess. And this one was, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> this one was genetic testing, like all of the genetic testing companies, which I, I found very interesting because wow. I have one of those yes. profiles as well and I'm adopted and I don't know my history so whenever I get those emails, I think, oh, is this the one that's going to say, hey, we, you know, so that I found that very interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then the other piece that he interjected was the concept of vengeance and um, retribution. And it mm-hmm. is a wild, I, I don't use that term um, uh, um, without planning, a wild ride. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, it's oh, great. Wow. Yeah, and you know what? You know, and I, I have both... not heard it. I, you know, I've read a few Harlan Coben's, and yeah. I did not have not read the ones with Wild. You mm-hmm. know, 
They're pretty recent. So now I'm I'm curious. Yeah. This is like, you know, what, Tarzan or something. Well, that's what, and that's what they kind of refer. Or they, Nell from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so and he's this really great character. He doesn't quite know how to function in the real world, but it's trying to. And, um, mm-hmm. and that's what I think Harlan Coben does so well is that, I mean, his. What, function in the real world? <laughs> Well, he does seem to do pretty well at that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, but his characters, like you, ju- they're so rich, they're so interesting, and you just yeah. w- root for them, and um, and you remember them. That's you how you know they're good because I remember yeah. them, even though yeah. we've read however many books. I, I remember know. the characters yeah. from his books. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, that's what I. That's and he's my a, he's such a nice guy too. He is remember a nice we guy. saw him. We did meet him at Thriller Fest, Fest. and he spoke, and, and I, we got a picture I, with him. So, and also, you know, we've we've attended a lot of his his um, talks, and I I just really like his approach. Um, he's really a hardworking mm-hmm. writer; like he treats this as a hardworking job, and um, I just I really admire him immensely. And uh, so, anyway, this mm-hmm. was a, a, an easy GOB Rex because I loved it. It was great. Okay, so, well, that perfect, sounds great. So, what are we going to have at the book club? Yeah, yeah. So that's it. So we're. I'm what having, are we gonna have? Um, I'm having Line Thirty Nine Pinot Noir. Isn't that pretty? Mm-hmm. And yeah. this is one of my Naked Wines choices. Um, oh, goodness. you know I like the Naked Wines. I love getting myself. Maybe a delivery. I'll have to get Naked Wines myself before you get here. How, How fast have you do they not deliver? done this? How have you not done this? I've been busy. I'm sorry. I was like going and going. And then I was it like. It actually saves you time. To, it's just me, you know. Yes, that's true. Anyway. Um, so so how, how long did you did it take for the first delivery, do you think? Uh, okay, I'm in the middle of the country in South Dakota. And I think it took three days. I was shocked. Okay. So I'll get it before you even get I was, here. Yeah. Yeah, you can get it before we'll I have, come. We'll have this month's down here. Yeah. And what's great is, for you, it's your first box. So you can pick, like, the, you know, you we have the links on our website. You can pick the introductory, um, very affordable um, box of wine. For, you can do six or you can do 12. Really affordable. And I just, anyway, I can't. There, I wish I had done this long ago. I just think it's so great. But anyway, yeah, that's I great. W- well, you couldn't have because South Dakota wouldn't. No, have. for a long time I wouldn't. <laughs> but now <Yeah>. you can. <laughs> um, but here's what I would serve for the um, book club. I would serve hoagies. And here's why mm. is that Harlan Coben is from, and his, a lot of his stories take place in New Jersey. And that is like, you know, kind of New Jersey's kind of known for a good hoagie. Yeah. And I thought that would be just fun. This in the yep. summertime, you know, like prosciutto and tomato and like some Havarti. Mm. Oh, wouldn't that be good? Mm, that sounds yeah. really good. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. All so right. you also, I believe, have one well, of my favorite authors. that sounds great. Yes, I have Jess Lowry's yeah. um, latest, Bloodline. And I had not read this. I knew that you had mm-hmm. read it, um, but I hadn't had a chance. And so the opportunity came <laughs> up, and I am so glad I did. Yeah. Because, you know, and I've been a longtime fan of yeah. hers. I mean, I saw her years ago and she was writing like cozy yeah. mysteries yep. and I read those. And, um, but this is so creepy. Isn't it? Kathy, it's creepy. She's gotten Oh my gosh. Dark. You know, you <laughs> talked about the flowers in the attic thing. Yeah. I mean, that, I know. yeah. This is very it's, creepy. Yeah. And you know, but it's, it was so fun. Like I was like, I just feel like writing something like this after reading it. Cause I was like, this is just, just so crazy, creepy. But at the same time, it could happen. Not really. Maybe. Totally. No, I don't think so. But you know. Yeah. Okay. So give everybody an idea what's just, going on. It's just like a fun thing. Cause yeah. it's like totally. Okay. All right. So, um, so the, the main character, she's pregnant her name she's a journalist her name is Joan and her um significant other is from a small town in Minnesota and she they met in I guess Minneapolis or whatever and so once she becomes pregnant 
they go to live up in his small town, which she was his, was reticent about doing because of her upbringing. And, you know, she was a s- yeah. only child with a mother that did not like small towns. Well, I'm telling you, she you, and she gets <laughs> there and weird things start happening or do they? Because, you know, right. she's also got her own issues so you're not sure if she's imagining things um, like being paranoid because, you know, yeah. there's paranoid people out there. Um, but <laughs> anyway, it's just like one thing after another. And you're just I really I really did read this like overnight or something, you know, like I yeah. I read it in all day, like all afternoon. And then I was like, went into the night and I was done. I mean, because it was one yeah. of those where I just wanted to find out what was going to happen. Yeah. And it's set in um, the late 60s, 1968, 69, somewhere around there, 70, 67. And so for the book club, I would have one of those old Campbell soup bakes, they called them the casseroles like a chicken oh yeah rice casserole yeah, yeah. yeah because in the book they were they were bringing them over you know for okay. when they were like i hate um, to break it to you, you know, but people still the... eat casseroles in minnesota right now today <laughs> no i do too like when yeah. i really want the comfort thing comfort that's food. what mm-hmm. you know i mean i i do try to um <clears throat> make them a little bit you know not quite as fattening or something yeah. and and i make sure i throw in a lot of vegetables yeah. whereas back in the day maybe you got some peas yeah. in there if you were lucky From the soup. um yeah. so <laughs> but that is so good everybody mm-hmm. would like it and you know even ones like maybe put some potatoes oh yeah that's that, delicious you know, crushed potato chips oh yeah mm-hmm. and then i was like okay they weren't drinking a lot of wine back then believe it or not that was considered wine was a little bit posh but <laughs> Um, it was starting to come out, but, um, you know, I figure I'd pick like, um, a rosé yeah. or something and to go with it just because, I mean, soon after that, white Zinfandels were coming out and things like that. But White Zin. It was right, white Zin, right? Chris, you didn't say yeah. Zinfandel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But back then they were drinking like, you know, the madman kind of drinks, yeah. like gin and tonics <laughs> and probably beer. I don't know, but, um, but not a lot yeah. of wine, but. We'll have wine anyway at my mm-hmm. book club. It's your book club, so you can do what you want. I was, I, I'm, I was making so much <laughs> ice noise in front of the microphone. I was like, Connor's going to love that. Our sound editor is <laughs> going to be mad. Anyway, but yeah, so that's what I do. So that's great. Yeah, I love it. Well, I love these episodes. That, um, and we, I, I always am planning ahead and looking forward to the next one and... I just think I can predict what September's book is going to be already. I'm jumping two months ahead. You know? I was going to say. You know what's... Wait, we haven't done August yet. Well, I can't get it read because we're going to record August next week when we're together. Oh, yeah. You know what it's going to be. I know what it's going to be. Daniel Silver. It is. Yeah. It is. All right. Well, I'm going to have some equally good books (laughs) as well. (laughs) And you can't um, compete with Daniel. And same. then we'll we'll have fun. Yeah, yeah. So thanks yeah. everybody for listening today. Yep, yep. And we got some great episodes coming up too. We I do. guess I don't even know where we are, but it's summer. We're we not do. We to have know. some good ones in yeah. the off season. Yeah, I know, but yeah. they're fun. Really right. fun. I like the ones. Cheers, yeah, so. Kathy. Cheers. <laughs>